Hello, it's me, Dora V. Just gonna get to the point here. This is Baby's first unboxing for Penzi's Spices. I've been using Penzi Spices for like, oh my god, since 2011, probably sooner than that. Oh, I'd say years, definitely years, over five years, and and it's just one of my favorite places, and in fact, it's like, I'd say like most of my spices come from here. They're just, they're just better for the most part. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I got, because I can. Well, why not? Uh, here we go. Um, this, this bumper sticker, they have this like constantly. Like they've been doing that for some time. Yeah, whatever. Heal the... Yay. Like... You yeah, have like four or five, probably more than that. And they do tend to package really well. Um, paprika. Well, you can't see it. Wait. There we go. Paprika. Hungarian style. One of my favorites. I get, it doesn't go all that quickly, but I definitely use it, which is why I ordered it. So, <laughs> yeah. But they use a lot of, like, paper. Then I got, which is fine. I mean, I'm fine with that. And then there's this. This is a, a box, a traditional spice box. It's one of their older gift boxes. They had this sale where it was, like, five... Um, it's like five bucks for these boxes. And here we go. We got some uh, recipe cards. I wonder if I should have used a digital camera instead. So I don't, I mean, I do have like a webcam, but it's a MacBook. <laughs> so no. And digital camera. It's, I mean, the iPad's, no. oh, I have the 3DS, but that's like 10 minutes. Then maybe I should get a bigger SD card. But I mean, it, it's, I mean, who uses an iPad to record? I know people use cell phones. I know that webcams, like other cameras, but, but I use this. That's why everything is clumsy. But I'm also just like really clumsy. But anyway, that's uh, cinnamon stuff, tips, that's... Uh, Pepper. Oh, yeah, the Penzi pepper is really good. Yeah, that's one of the. Whoops. I meant. Okay, here we go. Wait. Okay, this is it. Pepper, which I use a lot of that. They have like some of the best pepper. Cinnamon's pretty good too. Um, it's kind of dark in here. <laughs> yeah. Just a second. That's much better. Hey, because I'm forgetting that this is a video recording, and I don't think it's like Photoshop where you can just like make things brighter. I don't. There are filters. Well, well I'm not used to filming this way. <laughs> anyway, uh, here we go. So yeah, that. <laughs> um. <laughs> you beat us. You beat us. They, oh, yes, this is um, the one on the bottom here. That's Mural of Flavor. I use that a lot. I have a bunch of it. It's just, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's like all these flavors and it's salt free. So if you don't like salt but you love flavor, this is it. Garlic powder, which I realized that it didn't have. So I got some you know, cinnamon. Upper left, and then of course Penzi's pepper, which I personally love a lot. Okay, so that's a paper. Let's see. Oh, what else we got? Um. Okay. This. Hey, this. Seasoned sea salt. I love this. I use it a lot all the damn time it goes pretty quickly but there's like a lot of it 
so it takes a while, but sometimes I'll order the full cup. Basically, think salt, only spicy and seasoned, <laughs> and it's yummy. But this is easily one of the best things they have. It's just amazing. And uh, let's see, because of things like this, like I can't imagine using like Mrs. Dash or going to like the store. I just don't. When you get pensies, you just kind of nah with all the other spices. The only exception I could think of would be stuff like cumin. Maybe just regular salt. Like I can see getting something out. Like I can see getting that from the store, but. But otherwise, like, Pensies is just the best, like, best cinnamon. And this, Raspberry Enlightenment. There you go. Raspberry Enlightenment. Turn on your food. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't come up with the joke. But anyway, this is something I haven't gotten in years. And I do mean years. Because, and now it's sugar is a bit of a concern. But, oh my god, the carbs. It's seven carbs per tablespoon. So, quite naturally, I will have to, well, portion control is fine. But, um, I usually mix it up with yogurt or, like, certain desserts. Probably decent in a smoothie. I don't recall ever using it for anything else other than that. Except maybe ice cream. That's the other thing. It's good with ice cream. But I do remember it being pretty good. I just... It's just it's been so long since I've ordered it. And I'm glad I did. Because yeah. I, I do legitimately like it. This is a sample. They used to have like the little quarter jars. But they don't do that anymore. That's okay that they don't. But this is a... Uh, forward and that's a pretty decent spice it's actually hard for me to describe the spices <laughs> except good this is good this is good because if it's bad i would never order it <laughs> to begin with so <laughs> turkish seasoning that one's one of my favorites i love turkish seasoning it's nice and spicy and um i tend to um put it on like bagels with cheese well it's thin bagels now but but i put this like on all kinds of cheeses and and uh, meats and i don't recall putting it on in chili no i don't but uh, basically anything where turkish seasoning just adds to it i add it <laughs> but especially like with like bagels and cheese but i just love it as yummy and then there's this Salsa and pico. I I use this like I guess to like add a salsa flavor to something. I, I usually put it in chili. Uh, let's see, yeah, chopped up or pureed tomato. Add to so like if you want to make like a tomato salsa, then this really adds to it, and it is very very good. But it is something that took me a while to appreciate and. And I actually originally got it for free as part of a deal. And that was a really good deal. But it's an acquired taste. But once you do get a taste for it, it's quite good. I paid a total of $25.54 thanks to a bunch of discounts. Because a couple of these items were actually free. It was like buy a certain amount get a half cup and a quarter cup for free so a couple of them are free and then one of the boxes was like the original cost of $15.95 I paid five so that that was a good deal that's the thing about Penzies they make it pretty difficult to resist <laughs> and in this case I definitely failed to resist and I'm glad I did because some of these spices I haven't had in ages like the Turkish seasoning, the raspberry enlightenment. Yeah, this again, I get this fairly often. And, and then the paprika, which I haven't gotten a new one in a while. Yeah, that's it. It's just all paper after that. That's it. Yep, that's it for Penzies. 
Love this place. Highly recommended. If you haven't gotten any already, you definitely should. They do have good deals. Definitely worth the price. And yeah, let's just take a last look at these things. The cinnamon. Nice little box. And that's it.